My name is Nathan and I'll quickly review what the SolidWorks RX utility is and how to effectively use it. What is the RX utility? Well, it's a tool provided by SolidWorks Corporation and it's intended to decrease the customer burden when they're trying to capture a software problem. Uh, it basically gathers Windows log files, SolidWorks files, and even a video log file so the problem can be diagnosed by either a Go Engineer technician or escalated to SolidWorks. To access the SolidWorks RX utility, click on the Start button in Windows, choose Programs, and inside of the SolidWorks there's going to be a SolidWorks Tools with the SolidWorks RX program in it. Once you click on it, this is what the home page looks like. Upon starting the RX, you'll be brought to the home page. These links here will link you to the corresponding tabs. Down below is an option to start SOLIDWORKS in two different types of safe mode. This is beneficial when trying to reproduce or find the root cause of a premature termination or a crash in the software. The Diagnostics tab reviews your system and gives you feedback. There's a key at the bottom to tell you how your system rates. The Troubleshoot tab has links to the SolidWorks Knowledge Base online. The System Maintenance tab has useful tools on it for cleaning up things like temporary internet files or old SolidWorks backup files and even running things such as the disk defragmenter. The problem capture tab will let you record a problem and recreate a problem in the software. I'll click to begin recording. Starting a new session and recording with video is helpful. When you hit OK it will start SOLIDWORKS for you. At the beginning it will gather system information. Once it's done gathering system information, you can proceed with recreating the problem. For example, if I had a problem with a part template or a specific procedure in a part, I could start a new part and recreate the problem. Once I'm done recreating the problem, I can close SOLIDWORKS or if SOLIDWORKS terminates on its own, you'll automatically return to the RX tool. It'll let you proceed to the next step of describing the problem. You'll need to fill out all the required fields before you can proceed. Once it's filled out, hit OK. And now it'll show you the files that it's going to package up. There's system information files, SOLIDWORKS log files, and even a video log. If you have to report any problems that require certain SOLIDWORKS files, you can click on the related SOLIDWORKS files and add those. Once you're done, you can package the files and it'll zip them under the My Documents location under an SW Log Files. Once they've been packaged, you can exit the SOLIDWORKS RX. You can now take the zip file and email it into support at goengineer.com.